we've learned though as a team though that uh, you know we're going to march as, as we go together and uh, you know Braden is, is, is playing really well and him coming back has obviously made a big difference. He played against Ryder and wasn't, wasn't all the way better and then uh, we, he sat in, against Corsicana and I was really proud of Chance. Uh, Chandler did such a good job of, of coming in and being a, a, a great weapon for us. We just fell short and it wasn't because of him but it you know uh, he came in and played better and Barry came back that day you know Derek Barry and uh, you know he was able to play and then uh, Cody Mayberry came back uh, the next game and uh, having all of our weapons boy it makes us a lot better I'm a lot better coach and uh, when everything you know, fits that way but uh, as coaches we talked about it wasn't the X's and O's it wasn't anything else it was if, if the guy beside each other is going to fight for each other we got a chance and, uh, and I think the, the other part is, is your special teams play has been spectacular we've had two block punts uh, by the same kid you know uh, Andre Vassar has done a really good job and then our defense I think has played really well I think uh, having kids uh, like Terrence Ware uh, step in and, and, and play as hard as he does at the defensive end. Roy Rush has been a kid that we've moved around from uh, you know safety to, to inside linebacker, and he's played exceptionally well, uh, and that's and that's been a huge uh, positive for us. Uh, Eli Mabel at the corner spot, you know, we matched him up against Taylor from Brewer uh, the other night and, and played an exceptional uh, game, I thought. And, uh, but. And in Slovacek, really, he's another kid that's, that's been a team player. He's just bounced from position to position and, and making a lot of plays that uh, enabled us to, to be good. John Diaz had a pick to, to seal the game Friday. Uh, he's, playing, he's playing awfully well. But uh, I think defense as a whole, it's, it, we're giving ourselves a chance. Uh, hi, my name's Eric Walters, uh, offensive line on the Balls football team. Um, offensive line is just one of those positions where it's either you dominate them or you get dominated. Um, I know with a lot of defensive ends, I go against Terrence every day, so you know that's a hard, hard opponent. He's super strong, super fast, and so that prepares me against any other D lineman. So it just makes it easier. Roy Rush, senior, Boston High School, middle linebacker. Uh, some days I have a bad day, I'm taking my anger out on the offensive players, and it's just like a good relief for me. Okay, I'm Terrence Ware, number two on the Boswell football team. I play defensive end. Uh, I like the aspect of hitting people constantly pounding them, making them not be, being able to score. Despite my size, I'm very nice. We really shut them down to minimum points. Gannon, um, he lit the quarterback up, made a fourth quarter, made like two minutes after the game, lit him up twice in a row. I, was, I wasn't there, I just saw it, it was beautiful. I never seen anything better. Um, I believe the pros from that game is that we worked more of a team because they would bring more of their, uh, they ran a bear front, which was more of like a five, so it was their 5 0 lineman against their 5-D lineman, so it was more of a one-on-one uh, -on -one battle, so you had to win your battle each time, you couldn't slip off. Um, so I believe the biggest pro was just holding onto our blocks and keeping them, uh, keeping them off the quarterback. I would like to have a scholarship in football, but if not, I'll probably try to go to college for engineering or welding, maybe work on some railroad somewhere. I plan on getting a football scholarship, but if not, I plan on going to law school. I would like to get a football scholarship if that's possible, but um, I want to be a pediatric nurse, so working in nursing and doing stuff like that, that's one of my main uh, goals. If you give up, you're nervous as Uh Time flies very fast. So no matter how bad it seems, it's going to get better. Don't give up. Keep working hard. Uh, it goes by pretty quickly, to be honest. I remember sophomore year, I was sitting there. I was like, yeah, this is, you know, I got three or more years of this. I got two more years of this. This is very easy. And then the next thing you know, it's we're right here, right now, senior year. So don't take advantage of it.